Hi, this is Connie and my hair is red now. Something that I've made into my whole personality for those past two weeks. And ever since I dyed my hair, I've noticed that my outfits can be separated into two big categories. You have vampire and you have Princess Fiona. So, you know, I was thinking about it and the other day I was scrolling through my favorite website, which is Pinterest, and I realized that most of the holiday party outfits can be separated into those two great categories. You have vampire and you have princess. Okay, so let me explain. The vampire outfits have more structured silhouettes, they have more contrasting textures, and they usually tend to have darker colors. Whereas the princess outfits have more uniform texture and their silhouettes are more draping and flowing and they tend to have usually lighter colors. So I thought to myself, why not? Let's make a holiday party outfits video. So let's go! You can obviously never go wrong with a princess dress. Those dresses are literally meant to steal the show, so you will always be the star of your party. But be mindful, like, if somebody invites you to their own party or it's a birthday party, like, be careful to not upstage the host, as this can be kind of rude. But for your own party, or for your own private party, or for New Year's Eve, those dresses will always steal the show and make you the princess of literally everything. Uh, and also there was this term going around on Tumblr in 2013-ish, and it was called Rock Chic Girl. Uh, so you can always pair this dress with your leather boots to end up as a rock chic princess. What a better way to start the year! The way that I love this dress can literally not be put into words because first of all it's my favorite color, it's giving Princess Fiona. Uh, and also it's such a versatile piece of clothing because it can be worn by itself. I wore it, I wore it like this this summer to the opera and also with a couple of uh, tips and tricks. You can also adjust it to fit many different um, events, let's say, so you can make it family appropriate and you can also keep it like this and make it club appropriate. So let's see how we can fix this. This is a very easy way to fix this by adding a form-fitting shirt. I chose this one with the puff sleeves and this way you turn your dress into a skirt. And this is a very easy way to uh, keep the dress lightweight so you do not add a lot of fabric so it is still um, a breezy dress but also it becomes much more secure because as you saw this dress has a cowl neck and this does not give room for a lot of dancing. So this is a way to keep everything secure and be a tad more warm. I actually wore this exact look for last year's New Year, so this was my Welcome 2022 look. But you can also make it warmer and here is how. This is as warm as you can possibly get with this dress. I actually wore this exact look for a friend's Christmas party last year. And of course, as you add the turtleneck, you are again secure. Nothing will ever show, it's impossible. So this is great for partying and for modest looks and for family gatherings because again, you can see nothing. And as this turtleneck goes underneath the dress, uh, it still shows the whole dress, so you can get, oh, this is such a cool dress, compliments, instead of, oh, this is such a cool skirt, compliments. You get what I'm saying? So, 
This is a very easy and cool way to just keep wearing your summer dresses all winter long. Just add a turtleneck and you're good to go. This is not just a suit, it's a cool suit. So of course you have a black suit and the thing with this is that it has some very interesting characteristics. First of all, you have the snatched waist that helps define your shape a little bit better. And you have the flared pants, giving uh, a more hourglass silhouette without you actually like trying to do so. And the cool thing besides, of course, the striped shirt is that you can also wear suspenders. The cool thing with this shirt is not only that it is striped, it's, it has a much softer material than the usual stiff material used for shirts, and it has three-quarter sleeves, so that makes for a very interesting juxtaposition. And of course the suspenders can create a uh, um, 13th century... no, 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 um... When was Victorian England? Um, 18th century um, chimney sweeping boy uh, look. But it can also uh, add more dimension to your look, as you know, the black is slowly lighting up. And obviously, my favorite thing <laughs> is wearing your jacket as a cape for those Cam Dracula vibes. And it gives off, oh, I am not cold, I am not warm, I am cool vibes. So yes, elevate your suits this, ho this holiday season by adding suspenders and stripes. This is not exactly your family gathering outfit, but it just screams vampire. So, I have my favorite summer dress underneath and then I have a black blazer that has a snatched waist and with the X of the dress it's giving vampire meets college professor and you, if you're going on a club afterwards you can always take off your jacket and remain with your dress. And for extra perk points, you can always wear your jacket as a cape, so you are ready for everything a vampire should ever be. So it's skirt, it's um, uh, and there's a. Uh,